next, we've got what should be a great matchup between the New England Patriots and the Jacksonville Jaguars. With that, let's get on up to Jacksonville. Standing by for the call, it's our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Sunshine State in TIAA Bank Field here in Jacksonville. A few minutes prior to us coming on air, this crowd was jolted into action with the introduction of these Jaguars. They're set for football as the Jags are ready to match up with the New England Patriots. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis with you from our broadcast perch. And Charles, as we... And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Try and start this drive in the air. Steps away to his left. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Dante Hightower. That interception sets them up beautifully already. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes these quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some Dutch. Yeah, especially maybe want to look at some safer routes after the interception he had that ended their last drive. The reception, good for seven. It's third down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field and now, now what he's trying to do is use his body Blue to keep 90. the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. They'll look to throw. Buying time to his left. So no sack. He gets back to the line of scrimmage but it'll still bring up a fourth down. But there was pressure all around him so the only play was to try and get out of there. I think it was an excellent effort by him just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Now the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. They'll try and throw for it here. Being chased out left. He can run for it and he will. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Fourth down, no problem. Just a ho-hum pickup of 14 to keep the offense on the field. The last drive, remember, similar situation. He forced a ball into coverage through the pick. He learned better there. Yeah, similar to a golfer that's confronted with a shot that you just can't make. Sometimes you have to take your medicine, as they say, right? Just pull it down, take off, and go. Don't make something worse than what it was. And nearly picked off there. Almost intercepted. 
Instead, second down. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw is... Probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Now he's going to throw deep back over the middle. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. What I loved about meeting with these coaches before the game is we didn't even have to ask any questions. They told us that they were going to be aggressive and push the ball downfield. They weren't successful on that play, but look for them to try it again there later. Now. Green, 39. Looking to throw. He may try and run for this. 11 yards there for Jacksonville on a first down as well. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. They'll look to throw here. They go with the screen. It's Yeldon. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. A good first down call as the screen play gets a nine. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening still ended up with a solid game here's a play fake as they set up to throw and incomplete there a nice hit jars the ball free and brings up third down well it certainly appears that they're going to try and keep getting him the football that's the third time they've looked in his direction Unfortunately, haven't completed one yet, but I'm not sure they're going to shy away from him. They feel like they've got something there, and they want to capitalize on it. I think you're right. We're only in the first quarter, so a lot of opportunities ahead. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. His first catch there, good for 10 yards and a first down. <laughs> I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations. But a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. They'll look to throw again. Dancing to his left. No foul, the fumble. It's out, it's loose. And the Patriots have it. Well, give some credit to the D. Jaguars getting set to go. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath. First do no harm. And right now they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. A throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Trying to get that one to his tight end. And they've been trying to get the ball to him, but as of yet, unable to successfully complete one. But you know there's usually a nice comfort zone in throwing to the tight end. Great sight lines, usually right in the middle of the field. Forced out to his left. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. The Jaguars on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This time it's third and three. On play action, they'll throw. He'll check this one off to Fournette. The Jags picking up the first down there, a gain of 12. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. They go play action here on first down. A throw left side complete to his receiver, Westbrook. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. And a nice gain of 21 yards. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. 
They'll look to throw here on first down. Steps away to his, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. Now let's go. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And oh, not only did he drop it, he dropped it in the end zone. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. He'll drop to throw, letting one go deep for the end zone. And that one incomplete. Had some position but couldn't hold on, and it brings up fourth down. That's a good job there, creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Looking for the end zone. And that is going to be incomplete. The Jags come up empty on fourth down. And the Patriots defense is going to take over on down. Here comes the Jaguars offense as they get set here. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go. Be He's got a man complete. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. That's an excellent read right there. Saw cover one. That means it's just a single high safety. So you know if you throw the ball to the outside part of the field, help is going to be a little bit late getting there. Right, and he puts go. one out Three. there for a big-time completion. Back to throw. Flush to his right. Fights off the defender. High throw, but he makes the catch. That throw good for four. It's second down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. They'll drop the throw. He's going to sling this deep downfield. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. The veteran Jason McCourty there to make sure that one didn't find its target. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass right, rush, go. they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, only way to play good defense. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. They'll go option to the short side. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. They'll throw now on the final play. And this one is incomplete. We now proceed to the start of the second half. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. Now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again. And he's been fun to watch run the football. Play fake here on first down. He's going to air one out. 
And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath. A little bit felt like it was in the air for a while what it does is allows a defender to gain some ground come from a long distance and have a chance to affect the pass and the hit jarred it loose it's incomplete it is tough to complete pass against zone defenses the windows that you see open they shrink pretty rapidly how about being able to hit a moving target against a zone before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the battle. Looking deep downfield. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. A big gain of 38 there on third down. Press coverage on the outside. And for defenders, that's the ultimate risk-reward. If you take the risk... Can you reward yourself by keeping him on the line of scrimmage? But no, not on that one. Got the step on him. Now it's just a matter of laying the ball out there for him to go get it. They're going to look to throw. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10, eluding the pressure right. He's going to air it out deep for Green. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. He'll look to throw, escaping the pressure right. He can run for it, and he will. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. The open man is Shark. It's complete. Touchdown, Jaguar. Shark, 35 yards, and the Jaguars are back with it. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Flushed out right. Push. And got his man complete. 20, 10. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Marquise Lee, 70. Five yards, and the Jaguars have cut it back within a score. Lambeau on for the extra point. Extra point tacked on by Lambeau, and the lead's down to a field goal at 17-14. One of the shortest drives you'll ever see, one play. Seventy-five yards, six points.
They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. In for the score. And the Jags take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash this one in. And remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back. Try and start this drive in the air. Flush to his right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Sure, that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield. But that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit, and they may have to change accordingly. Back to throw now on second and ten. And he comes back with one complete. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Six yards on the pickup, and that'll lead here to a third down. Well, it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game, including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl. Where you have that center eligible stuff. But still, a lot of guys to account for. They'll set up a throw. He's got the hook up to Lee. The 21 yards there as they convert. On third. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw will get back now in Jacksonville. It's Jaguar football here, and they'll look to extend their lead as we begin quarter number four. Set. Green, 39. They'll look to throw. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off. And his guys are going to get the football at their own 40. comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Here we go now. Green, 39. Green. They'll throw again from their own end zone. That's into the hands of Westbrook over the middle. And they'll get him down up past the 15. That, I believe, will put him over 100 yards receiving for the game. Yes, he will. And he's got a first down to boot. Thanks to that last play, a little more room to operate. First and 10 at the 18. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Completes it to Lee. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Now let's go. They look to throw now on first down. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Here's a play fake as they set up the throw. And boy, that one drops. 
attempts incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. The good signal callers would never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly, and that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. A critical... Out comes the Jaguar offense now as they get set to take over. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you're looking at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Left side complete. Safarian Jenkins. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. First down, Jacksonville. The passing game looking sharp on this drive for the Jags. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. They go with the screen. It's Yeldon. And he'll get it down on the plate of the 37. A good pick up there on first as the screen pass gets him eight. Now the Jags are moving quickly in the hurry up. And all He's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all. Now down. your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. So the face mask, quite a blessing there as they'll start out of harm's way with a first and 10. Back to throw. Dumps it off to Fournette. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Back to back, nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. First down now, but that clock rolling. Maneuver his way down to about the seven. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Hurry up, here we go. Boom. Back to throw. Eluding the pressure right. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow, wow. I know it's a never-say-never never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late, but not. you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get overeager, get out of their lane. Stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. Yeah. 
They'll look to throw. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. A couple extra defensive backs out there in the dime. And because of that, really not many players to throw the football if in it. And typically, what would you want to do against that dime? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You have to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Throwing now is Brady. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. Well, Charles, they were close in the end, but they couldn't get that last play, that last little miracle play done. They were within striking distance, but couldn't find a way to score. They definitely had hope. They definitely had opportunity. Just unable to cash in at the end. Not an easy play by any stretch, but they definitely had a chance. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Jaguars are winners here as we say so long from Jacksonville.